Hey what's up VFX showdown here and welcome back to the another very exciting After Effects tutorial. So guys in this one we're going to create a something texture pattern. So I will show you what I mean. So as you see we have rendered these four clips. I will show you one by one. So let me first quickly show you the pattern what we're going to create and then we can transform this pattern into something like this my background. So let's see the first one. So as you see, we're going to generate uh, this kind of pattern. Let me play. You can see the better while this animating. So this is the completely random shapes. So as you see, we have some shapes and the particles on that. And, and then we're going to transform this pattern into this one. Let me show you. So as you see this kind of so it's looking pretty good actually you can use this as a motion background and some title animation etc or you can use this as a texture map for your element 3d layer so let me show you this is the result we're going to achieve so as you see the same pattern in this 3d geometry in this 3d model So pretty nice so we can apply and here is the last one so this is the green this looks pretty good as you see all the directions so as you see nice okay so let's jump into the after effect and let's make this pattern so as you see we have this comp and we already make this kind of texture pattern so let's create a new composition right click on the project window create a new comp and 1920 1080p 30 frame 10 second looks good and then hit ok and first thing first go to the layer new and solid and call this noise because we're going to generate the noise pattern and let's add a fractal noise so as you see this is noise. and first thing first alt click on the evolution and type time multiply by 100 so this speed is looking good so let me play you can see it will animate over time as you see so we need a change some settings so go into the fractal noise and the fractal type basic to string and you have this something and the noise type the spline and then the brightness increase by 10 and the contrast increase by 2000 so we have this kind of pattern and it will animate over time randomly okay so complexity is good and go into the transform and scale down maybe 60 percent so we have a more detail and then the blending mode to choose none and then we're going to duplicate this one and let me change purple and the second one we go into the transform and the scale down more maybe 40 and the blending mode on this layer change to add or screen we're going to use add and now as you see we have more details maybe 50 okay something like this and then we're going to offset the turbulence as you see just increase so we have a completely different shape and the x and y something like this so as you see and we're going to decrease the brightness maybe five maybe more one so let me solo you can see maybe decrease the contrast a little bit so something like this so we have these two noise noise let me change to pitch and it will randomly animate over time okay so now we need a distortion so as you see this is a stay in the same position we need a distortion so let's create a new adjustment layer 
we'll call this displays yes we're going to add a turbulent displays so turbulent displays and then we need a displacement type to cross displacement cross displacement sorry okay and then let's animate the evolution or click on the evolution type time multiply by 50 i think and it will animate over time and uh, the size of the cross dis displacement may be 3000 300 sorry and the amount may be 40 so you will get something like this we can increase the size maybe 400 so we get a larger distortion displacement something and then let's create a, another adjustment layer and call this vegas okay so this is what exactly what we're going to do we add a vegas as you see so this is the vegas and let me change some setting in the render section we're going to change over to the transparent and the color pure white and we have something like this shape and the end opacity 100 so we have this kind of and this is looking pretty good already but i need some breaks so as you see the lines is completely like we won't break the lines randomly so what you're going to do in the vegas close the segments close and go into the image continuous open this one and the threshold as you see the threshold we increase the threshold 200 plus so we're going to 200 and now you can see the lines will break in some points so maybe 190 let's 200 is good enough okay so now we're going to add some colors so create a new adjustment layer here and call this color and glow okay so let's add a color so in the color we're going to use the video copilot free color vibrance so type vc you get the color vibrance you can download it is free and it is very useful and as you see it will colorize everything so we're going to enable fill empty pixel bg so as you see we get a more detailed color and the color we choose anything actually let's use the default one and let's add a glow glow and close this one and the glow we use screen mode and this 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 first glow will be the tight glow as you see and we're going to duplicate this glow again and the second one we use the add mode and increase the glow radius maybe 20 something and the glow threshold maybe 50 let's this first glow also the threshold 50 okay if you want uh, something like particles on that screen as you see this one we have this particle layer let me isolate let me uh, solo you will see this is the particles so completely in after effect we using the cc particle world you can play around if you want more, uh, more details in your texture so i'm just going to copy this one and paste it over here on the top and as you see this is the 720p that's why it's on the corner let me go into the this solid setting and make comp size now it's 1080p and simply right click on this go transform and fit to comp so now it, it is on the comp and you can see and put underneath of this color and we see and you will see this is this is very bright so decrease the opacity maybe 60 or 50 depending on which kind of effect you go, you are going to achieve and this is done so in this point i thought this is the pretty nice pattern i created and i want to make a tutorial on it so then i realized this is not a great one 
so i thought i need to do some more experimentation on this pattern so this is the result you will see here so this and this one as you see this is the red one all i change is add a, another adjustment layer and let me call this one change and that's what exactly we're going to do we, we completely change this pattern into something this kind of fiery or or something like 3d illusion because let me go and show you how to achieve this one okay so you have uh, this pattern okay and then first effect you need to add in this change adjustment layer is called cc radial fast blur you guys know this is effect very very interesting so as you see the cc radial fast blur and we're going to change this type the zoom type the darkest and increase the amount 100 percent and you will see it will completely change the look of the pattern and the second effect we're going to add a vector blur awesome now you see the result we're getting on this cc vector blur so we're going to change the type the perpendicular and the amount is 90 and the angle offset 50 and the ridge smoothness maybe 4 and the vector map and the property using the luminance and that's it and this is the effect we have in this final result so as you see this is not looking the same but as you see this is not a look like this that's because we need to add two more effect and one is the color using the color vibrance and add on it and fill empty pixel and the brightness increase 1.5 you will see now and then we're going to add a glow overall glow and and the glow operation using screen and play around the glow setting little bit increase decrease the glow threshold maybe 50 percent and the glow radius maybe 12 or maybe 15 so nice so the cool thing about this effect you can jump into the cc radial fast blur and the center as you see this is the center and if i change click on this and so let's see if i want glow on this direction click and you will see the look of this effect it completely changed so now now the focus point is this one and if i move over here you will see some kind of 3d feel so this is very very cool effect as you see if i move this one right here and this is animating so and you can keyframe the center point as you see now you can keyframe just let me move this something on this corner and you can keyframe the center and press u and go a couple of three seconds select the cc radial blur and move the center to the over here and it will animate so other thing you can do go into the cc vector blur and change some setting and you will get completely different look and so the type is perpendicular if i change the direction center now you can see we get a completely different look and go into cc fast blur and move the center to the side so as you see we get a completely different look and play around some setting and this is this one is also good direction fading and now you can see and we can go into the color vibrance and change this color to the maybe something lighter blue and more and you can see what kind of effect we have now let me change this one also so now it is blue so just play around some setting and you will get the the same or maybe the better result so me let me stick the perpendicular and we have a pretty nice pattern animation and you can use this pattern as a 
element 3d texture map let me quickly show you so this in my project you will see we have this element 3d composition if i open it you will see we add these three texture maps and and this is the 3d model and go inside the element 3d layer and in the in the custom texture layer custom texture maps you can change this one the red one and it will automatically update and as you see we have a pretty nice fiery look and let me change this to texture and as you see we have a nice and awesome look and you can use this as a title animation or maybe motion background and one thing you can use this as a intro for revealing your logo or some title let me show you the quick example so as you see we have this rendered clips and then we can jump into after effect and load one of the texture and make a new composition and we're going to add this logo and you can use to display the logo so we can make a logo reveals effect something and we're going to add the glass effect on this logo and inside the surface we change this to texture 3 so now as you see and change the blending mode maybe add or the multiply so now as you see the multiply and change this to lightness maybe luminance to get the better and the softness maybe 10 so maybe 20 and displacement increase the displacement maybe 100 let's negative 100 and now you can see it will animate depending on the texture so this is the pretty good and nice experiment we done it and don't worry and and i will give you the project file link in the video description so you can download and play around some setting and get a different and and get the completely different look so guys thank you for watching if you have any questions leave in the comment down below and make sure to give this video a like it's really help us and subscribe for more content like this so i think that's it and we will see you in a very next tutorial